Shalom, December 28th, 2020. It's about 11 a.m. I just felt led to go back and look at some scriptures that God gave me back at the first of the year in 2020. And I'm just going to believe that everything that we were believing for to happen in 2020 that didn't happen was just po postponed. And it was all a divine setup. And God's going to turn what the devil meant for evil into, into so much good, even a double portion in Jesus' name. So all these scriptures that God gave me at the beginning of 2020 are all going to come to pass in 2021. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Psalm 65, 11, you crown the year with your bounty and your past drip with fatness. I'm not in any hurry. Like showers that water the earth. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass as showers that water the earth. You crown the year with your bounty and your past drip with fatness. May he be like rain falling on mown grass, like showers watering the land. Your past will drip with fatness. Fatness means heavy anointing, the kavod, kavod or kavod glory, however you want to say it. Fatness means heavy anointing, heavy glory prosperity, and restored favor. 2021, my past will drip with fatness and heavy kavod anointing and prosperity and blessings and restored favor in Jesus' mighty name. Satiate me. Satiate me with fatness and with heavy anointing and prosperity and restored favor in Jesus' name. Satiated means satisfied to the full. In Jeremiah 31, it says, For I have satiated the weary soul and replenished every sorrowful soul. Upon this I awakened and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Satiate me with fatness, heavy kavod, glory anointing and prosperity and restored favor in Jesus' name. I'm just going to keep speaking that over myself over and over again, just like I was doing last year. Satisfy, satisfy me to the full with your heavy kavod glory and your prosperity and your restored favor in Jesus' name. Amen. For you have sat, satiated the weary soul with new wine and new oil and new fresh fire. And, and you have replenished every sorrowful soul. And upon this I awakened. Awake, awake, O sleeper, and behold, my sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of men and with the seed of beasts, and it shall come to pass that like I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I also watch over them to build and to plant, saith the Lord. God, I pray that you will build me and plant me and watch over me. Don't let me be one of the ones that gets plucked up and thrown down and destroyed, God, because you said I was your remnant. You said I was your remnant, an impartaker, a representative of Jacob's family, an impartaker and a remnant and a royal diadem and an ancient prophetic gemstone and your word will come to pass and shall not fail. Amen. So I keep reading these words over myself. Zechariah 14, 10 footnotes. The church is about to be filled with the knowledge of God and abounding with multitudes of converts. We're getting ready to go into the billion soul glory revival. 
the devil might have postponed it for a few months. We're going into the billion soul glory revival right now in Jesus' mighty name. And the church is about to be filled with the knowledge of God and abound with multitudes of converts, even a billion souls in the glory revival harvest. Amen. And the mountains shall be turned to a plain. All the land, the whole land of Judea, is a typecast of the whole earth, the seat of the universal church, filled with the knowledge of God and abounding with multitudes of converts. It shall be turned to a plain. Amen. God's been giving me Zechariah 14 the last few days. I'm going to skip down a lot of this stuff. I'm going to skip down to Isaiah. I'm just going to read some footnotes from Isaiah. First, I'm going to read a few footnotes from Matthew 11, 11. 1, 1, 1, 1. Those are my angel numbers. <clears throat> In the new state of the church, where the true glory of Shekinah God shineth. The persons are not compared together, but the kinds of doctrines, the preaching of John with the law and the prophets, and again the most clear preaching of the gospel with John's. They prophesied of things to come, which are now present and clearly and plainly seen. We're going into a new state of the church church is going to a new level in 2021. In this new state of the church, you will see the true glory of God shine upon his people with a, with a most clear preaching of the gospel. And as they prophesied of things to come, they are now present and clearly and plainly seen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. I will so alter and so change the state of my church that it shall seem to dwell in a new world. I received that word in Jesus' name. God is going to so alter and so change the state of his church that it shall seem to dwell in a new world. And they will be so giddy with joy that they won't know which way to go. I will so astonish them and make them so giddy that they shall not know which way to go. I will no more suffer my church to be desolate as in times past. I will so alter and change the state of my church that it shall seem to dwell in a new world. Meaning, in this wonderful restoration of the church, there should be no weakness of youth, no infirmities of age, but all should be fresh and flourishing with the new wine and new oil and new fresh fire that is accomplished in the heavenly Jerusalem, when all sin shall cease and all tears shall be wiped away. What God is doing in this last day, it's not just for the young, it's for the old people too. Old people will have new, will be fresh and flourishing. Amen. And, uh, amen. And they will be so giddy, they will not know which way to go. The prophet speaketh this to move the people to remember God's benefits in times past, that they may be confirmed in their troubles. God's going to confirm his benefits in the middle of our troubles. And the whole world is in trouble, like TBN, TBN, the Trouble Broadcasting Network. TBN, the Trouble Broadcasting Network. <laughs> Network. For I did choose them to be mine, that they should be holy and not deceive my expectations. The prophet speaketh this to move the people to remember God's benefits, that they may be confirmed in their troubles. God confirms his benefits in the midst of our troubles in Jesus' mighty name. He bare their afflictions and griefs as though they had been his own. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Hallelujah. He bears their afflictions on the cross and their griefs as though they had been his own. 
the prophet saith that he will never cease to declare unto the people the good tidings of their deliverance. Keep declaring the good tidings of his deliverance, even no matter what's going on in the world, till they have full deliverance. And this is the prophet speaking to encourage all other ministers to the setting forth of God's mercies towards his church. God's mercies towards his church endure forever. Thou shalt have a more excellent fame than thou hast had hitherto. He shall esteem thee as dear and precious as a king does his crown. Thou shalt no more be contemned as a woman forsaken by her husband, or but you will be my delight. You will be married to me, that is, replenished with children. For as much as they confess one faith and religion with thee, they are in the same bond of marriage with thee, and they are called the children of the church. And as much as Christ maketh her plentiful, to bring forth children unto him. Prophets, pastors, ministers, he exhorteth them never to cease to call upon God by prayer, excuse me, for the deliverance of his church and to teach others to do the same. Prophets, pastors, and ministers, God exhorts you never to cease to call upon God by prayer for the deliverance of his church. And the church needs deliverance. And to teach others to do the same. For the restoration whereof all the world shall praise him. All the world is getting ready to praise God when they see the restoration. And the being so glory revival. It's about to hit the world in Jesus mighty name. Just speak it and agree with it. Signifying the great numbers. It should come to the church, signifying the great numbers, the billion souls that should come to the church and what means he would prepare for the restitution and the vindication. Ye prophets and ministers, show the people of this, their deliverance. Tell the people about what's coming, about the salvation of Christ and the billion soul glory revival. He shall have power to bring his purpose to pass. God has the power to do this. He has the power to do this being so glory revival. Right now in Jesus name. This is one over whom God hath had a singular care to recover and she was lost. He died for the lost. For we are not like a lot of folks that go about hostering God's message for a fee. On the contrary, we speak out of a sincere heart as people sent by God, standing in God's presence, living in union with the Messiah. We do not handle his word craftily or covetously or less, sincere, or less sincerely than we ought to. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're going from one degree of glory to the next, from glory to glory in 21, 2021, glory to glory. And you sh and as you share in the sufferings of everything that's going on in the world, you will also share in the encouragement and the blessings and the restoration and the vindication and the glory we want you to know about the trials that we will undergo. The burden laid upon us was so far beyond what we could bear that we even despaired of living through it. In our hearts, we felt like we were under sentence of death. However, this was just to get us to rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. Resurrection power. Read that again. As you share in the sufferings that are going on in the world, also share in the encouragement from God. Whew, feel the Holy Ghost on that. We want you to know about the trials. There will be trials. And the burden that is laid on you will be so far beyond what, what you could bear. 
that you may even despair of living through it. But in our hearts, we may even feel under sentence of death, like Jesus Christ, when he was under sentence of death. However, this is to get us to rely not on ourselves, but on God, whew, who raises the dead. Raise me from the dead like Lazarus in Jesus' name. He rescued us from such deadly peril. He rescues us, and he is rescuing us right now from this deadly peril sweeping across the world. And he will rescue us again, the one in whom we have placed our hope will continue to rescue us. Glory to God. I'm getting wrecked in the Holy Ghost reading these scriptures. I'm getting wrecked in the Holy Ghost reading these scriptures. I'm reading this to you for your own happiness. When I wrote it, I was greatly distressed. And I was very anguished in my heart. And with many tears of joy in his presence, not in order to cause you pain, but to get you to realize how very much God loves you. I'm going to have to wrap this up because I'm going to get ready to get slayed in the spirit. I might just fall out on camera. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, God, Adonai, in this text, in this scripture, means the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Whew. Whew. See, all of us with faces unveiled see as it was in a mirror the glory of God. We are being changed into his very image. Whew. From one degree of glory to the next. By Adonai, the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is wrecking me right now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to have to finish this later. Because nobody can come near me. This is the year of the redeemed, and he redeems me and gives me peace so that no one can come near me. There's no escape. I'm hedged in. I'm hedged in, and he's guarding me and watching over me and protecting me, and nobody can come near me. You have hedged me in behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge, yeah. is, too, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. You have hemmed me in behind and in front. And you have laid your hand upon me. Help me God to read this and wrap this up real quick. You have hemmed me in and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Hallelujah.